And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. Great selection of knives this week from Drum Roll, please. Condor. Riet. Shielden. And... Tor, Tor knives. knives. Yes, Johnny. After weeks of waiting, we finally have a show that's really gonna flip your knives. Wow, so first up is the Condor Primal Cleaver. See, you on specs? Come on down. Alrighty. Yep. So, this knife is 7.89 inch overall with a 4.09 inch 1095 high carbon steel blade with blasted satin finish. Flat grime with second bevel. Mm -hmm. Jimping for control. The full tang handle allows for secure grip and features tan micarta, a paracord lanyard, and the decorative bead. Whoop, whoop. This is a nice bead. It is. Mm -hmm. Finally, this basic but compact carry comes with a handcrafted welted leather sheath. Look at that. I'll see if I can get it in there for you. It's trying to upside down there. we we'll to break that sheath in. Yeah, you are going to have to break the sheath in. It's because all the handcraftedness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not getting, I'm not getting that buckled upside down. So there it is. Oh, look, only one hand. <laughs> What's your forefinger doing? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> the whole thing was made in El Salvador and is only 7223 from alandknife.com. There it is. All right. What's your take on this knife? Well, I got to be honest with you. Hold on. Let me put the safety on. Okay, go ahead. All right. I really like the knife. I think for the cleaver style, I like the micarta handle. It reminds me of a nice tops micarta handle. I'm kind of getting a little horn feel from like the Kaiser. Yeah, horn. I also like that it has the the lanyard. Yes, the, the lanyard. It's nice. I like the bead. And it's a little larger than like say you know the marbles mm -hmm. or the um, well we wouldn't want to call M Tech here, but they have one. Um, other brands that have one. Mm -hmm. So I, I like this one. It fits my hand nicely. Yeah. And it's extremely sharp. Back to you, Bob. Okay. Well, as you were saying, it isn't a completely new idea. I mean, Kaiser 2 did a mini cleaver, the Butcher. United Cutlery did like the M48 Convict cleaver, which was a little bigger than this. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bloodwood from Hibben, Tops, Tidal Force, many others. However, I can't say that I like this one less than those. I mean, I liked those, and I think I like this one too. I mean, I think I can really see myself taking it out, you know, and using it like a camping kitchen type of thing. Mm -hmm. Square blade is lightweight, yet solid enough to allow for uh, decreased effort while you're using it. I think it's a good camp cooking tool, you know. Sure, and it's also not as large. Cutting some meat. As all those. As I do agree that it would be one that you would actually want to use. Because mm -hmm. the regular. convict cleaver is a little too big and bulky. Well, and it's kind of meant for, kind of you display. know, killing zombies. Yeah. yeah. I like this one. Yeah. Okay. All right, works for me. Okay. Our next blade, we're moving quickly today, yep. is the Condor Native Hunter. Which was designed in honor of all Native Americans. Native Hunter. No way. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Features of <laughs> 4.25. You... I had some things to say, but oh I... Oh, my gosh. What? I was thinking it, too, but they're inappropriate, aren't they? They are. Yeah. They are. <laughs> wow. <Okay>. Go ahead. <laughs> Features of 4.25 inch. 440C stainless steel polished blade with flat grind, second bevel, jimped on the spine Ooh. and on the back of the walnut wood handle. Oh my gosh, do you see that? It continues through the tang and then through the liners and then through the wood. That's that is nice. nice. I like that. There's a place for a lanyard. Coincidentally, it comes with a Coyote 10 one. What? what? And lastly, it comes with a very nice, very dark brown, handcrafted, welted, leather sheath with loop. Not beta. No. Nope. This native hunter is just 6373 from AtlanticKnife.com. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw my sign. You can go first on this one. <laughs> sheath shimmy. No finger on there, is there, buddy? All right. What you got? Okay. I really like this one more than the cleaver, I have to say. Simply because I can see myself actually like using it for more than just a few tasks. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the handle fits really well. The materials are really nice. The sheath is nice and leather. I mean, come on. 
the continuing of the jimping mm -hmm. on the spine. That's like my favorite almost. Sheets good. What about you? Well, my initial thought today was, wow, we have really expensive knives on this table. So we don't really have something for everybody. What? But yeah, I know. But now that I've gotten the to... The condors are good. I know. Now that I've gotten to look at them, and this is 63 bucks, mm -hmm. and that's in the same price range, yeah. and some of the other ones are, I'm thinking we have some value blades. Mm -hmm. I do like the attention to detail on this one, especially like yes. you said with the... Uh, the continuation through all the materials. Not, not yes. many do that. The little holes there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the little details and how it's cut out perfectly for, for your hand. hand. Yep. Four fingers, not just three, but four. You could do you three. You could do three if you want. It's got the room for your pinky there if you mm -hmm. have a larger hand. But other than that, I mean... It's got a very tops feel again, too, because it's got the red liners like a lot of their Yeah, I mean, have. it seems like they really thought of everything this time. They did. I like this one. And it comes with a... Stick. Oh, wow. If you don't put that on the back of your electric vehicle, <laughs> I mean, you know. You will be out of the club. That's it. Okay. And that, as they say, is that. Go ahead. Want me to go next? On the next. Okay. Next in line on the table is the Tor Knives Anaconda. I'll try to make it strangle, but it wouldn't work. Okay. But first, please guys, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Along with ringing the notification bell. So you can have a Atlantic Knife a simple click away. Why wouldn't you want us a simple click away? Exactly. We're awesome. And you will also be entered in our giveaways, which we happen to be announcing the winners of right now. Right now. Yes. So, on the YouTube, the winner of the Steel Will Gina. <sighs> in blue is Bill Vichich? Vich. Vich. Oh, Vich. You know what? Like Vich. Because it's itch and the V. Vich. Were you thinking about doing some kind of inappropriate... Itching? ...hand sign? No, not uh. an inappropriate hand Okay. Sign. And over on AK's blog, the winner of the massive steel wheel druid with sheath. Wow. Yeah. That is impressive. It is. I feel like I'm just going to be heading out in the woods and... It's like a mirrored machete stuff. with a handle. Yeah, exactly. Chris Bowes. Is that, is that good? There it is. Okay. Thanks to all those that threw their hats into the ring for this giveaway. Congrats to the winners. It would be a song, but you all know that Post Malone screwed that up. Yeah. Make sure to email sales at AtlanticKnife.com to claim your knives. You messed that up. And if you weren't very lucky this time, don't lose hope. All right. Thinking about training day, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Remember that you? monthly big giveaway I've been talking about for the past two weeks? Well, it's here. For the next three, count them, three weeks. You have three weeks, people. Thanks to Tor Knives and AtlantKnife.com, we will be giving away on both YouTube and AK's blog a brand new Tor Knife. So, on the YouTube, we're giving away the Tor Anaconda. What? The thing we're going to be talking about in like yes. five minutes? With sheath cleaning cloth, stickers, the works. Yep. All thanks to Tour Dives. And on LandKnife.com's blog, we are giving away... Give me one second. The Tour Knife Field 2.0. Do we have to? I know who the winner is already. They'll be mad if we keep it for ourselves. With sheath, cleaning cloth, stickers, the works. We'll also be hitting this one on the video, too, so make right. sure to stay tuned. Anyways, make sure to answer the trivia question, and you will be entered. The easiest way to enter a trivia question is mm -hmm. to copy the answer above. Yeah. Or you can be the first and find it on your own. It won't be that hard. It's, it's pretty easy. I've never even looked at the trivia question, so... Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Tour Knives Anaconda. First thing I'd like to mention, all these knives are 100% handmade, even the screws. No way. Mm-hmm. And they're made right here in the good old USA. What? Yeah. So big points on the scoreboard for tour knives for those features. You mean out in San Diego? Yeah. California. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> tour knives defines this blade as both tactical and concealable. Mm hmm. Sounds like Which a Taurus. Makes, oh, is it? Mm -hmm. It's not a Toyota Corolla? No, Which makes I meant sense. the G2C oh, 9mm. It's okay. It is part of the SOF series, Special Operation Forces. Uh -huh. Oh, you weren't talking about a car. No, I was talking about a Taurus G2C or G2C. A Taurus is a car, too, though. Oh, did they it name was. it after that? 
You know, I don't think they did name it after. Yeah, I believe Taurus. They named the Mustang. I believe the Mustang. <laughs> it's a they named it after the P fifty one Mustang. It's a plane. <laughs> it's its own thing. I think they went after the bull. Oh. Okay, so this knife, along with a few other select models from Tour, are mm -hmm. specifically designed to fit the requirements of tough environments and hard use. Okay, sounds like a plan to me. Light it up. Such is the iconic Karambit style, one eight, one and one eighth inch. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of ring. That is. Which allows for an easy draw, with or without gloves, along with a 3.75 inch CPM S35VN steel blade, which is... 0.1875 inch thick for all you out there that care. And comes in at about 59, 60, call it 61 on the Rockwell scale. All of which allows for extended blade strength and usability with little to no corrosion. The rounded convex edge is another special modification that allows for super smooth slicing. It's 8.25 inches overall and features a 4.5 inch black snake scale G10 handle on the shadow model which is this one, and Ranger Green on the other. It weighs just 6.7 ounces and comes with a black Flex Tech Kydex sheet. Mm. So, there it is. All right. Don't constrict your knife game. That's great. Get an anaconda. Sounds like another t-shirt to me. Don't you constrict it? your knife game? You yeah. know what? Anaconda's not copyrighted. Mm-hmm. They're going to take it <laughs> for just two seventy-five dollars from Alandknife.com. All right, I'm gonna let you go first. You gonna let me go I'm first? I'm gonna let you go That's first. That's so nice of you. I know. You know, I'll probably just end up saying the same thing that you're thinking. Yeah, anyway. you probably will. All right. Because yeah. some of us don't have any original thoughts. Well, I gotta all. tell you, I am. Really, I won't do it. I know you won't. Okay. I like this a lot. It kind of reminds me of a Tops. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. Because it does kind of have like a, a rapid strike type of feel almost, except they've added the karambit and it's a little wider. I'm not sure. It it kind of looks like something and it kind of doesn't. That's exactly what I was thinking. I appreciate you letting me go first. You're welcome. All right. I'm really grateful that Tor Knives makes these in the United States and by hand no less. That tells you that they're quality blades and you know well what? worth the price. I do think because they use high-end materials mm -hmm. that... They come with all the extras. Yeah. I mean, exactly. these the might, stickers. These could very easily be my your, favorite, your new favorite company. Favorite fixed blade company. Yeah. I know. However, I like this one. Yeah, I knew you would. A little more. So you mean the Tor Nice Field 2.0? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. Wait till we get the folding knives. We're going to have a field day. They better hurry up and get here. A field day? <laughs> okay. What a pun. I know. It's nice. Good job. Designed with everyday use in mind. I'm just going to jump into the specs for a seed drone. Tell them how snazzy this is. This snazzy. <laughs> why'd you do that? This snazzy fixed carry is part of Tor Knives' outdoor series and is perfect for handling all tasks, indoor and especially out. 8.75 inches overall, it features a 4.5 inch CPM 154 steel blade with a 2.75 inch straight edge for fine work and a razor sharp 1.75 radius to the tip for traditional knife tasks. The knife finish on this one is KG Gun Coat. Which I'm guessing is like Kelly Green Gun Coat maybe? Maybe, I yeah. have no clue. I'm just reading what was written. No, and great. warrants excellent abrasion, chemical and impact resistance. And due to the handmade blade shape, it is also able to have a longer sharpening life and edge impact resistance. Wow, that's yes. a lot of resistance. Who could resist <laughs> all that resistance? Not even the force. I know, okay. I was thinking a wacky new one, but okay. This version is the Spanish Moss, but there are other colors as well. Each has a walnut dynamic fluting textured handle lined with polished copper accents, which not only grants the knife with style and flair, but also allows for a good, comfortable grip in not so good conditions. Finally, it comes with a genuine Herman Oak saddle leather sheath. Wow, that's nice. I have now decided that actually, this is the most beautiful, amazingly snazzy sheath I have ever seen. Yeah. And of all, all of them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, resistance, sheath, it all can be yours for just $2.95 at atletingknife.com. Oh, a nice handle, mm -hmm. copper accents. I might have to call my mom. Why? Because I have finally met the one. <laughs> Neo. Wow. Seen you know, we, we do have uh, yes. two more knives on the table. 
Oh, yeah, well, I'm aware of that. Okay, it's not Jerry Gallo. It's Jerry Callow. Neo would be the one if he was seven inches taller. Mm. Mm. <laughs> See, I can't even... I was going to say something mean again. To Neo. Not, not you never him. say anything mean. You're always nice. Uh, well, Keanu Reeves just strikes that chord, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... I really uh, like this knife. Just tell me about your mother, Laura, or something. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, and I forgot the stickers. You don't want to hear about I my like mother. I like those stickers. All. all I need now is a tour adventure tee, and you probably won't see me again for a long time. I mean, Bear Krillis will have nothing on me. Do they have so. tour adventure tees? Yes, yes, they do. It has do, a bear on it. Did we it get a tour looks adventure like, tee? No, we did not. Ooh, we're going to put Wendy on that. Mm. I could be wearing their Actually, merch you know, right you know, now. You know what we'll do? We'll get the woman who pays the bill mm. to tell them, look. We're going to need a, a, a tour adventure, adventure tea. tea. Just yeah. to sweeten need the one pot. In, we're going to need one in uh, medium and extra large. Mm -hmm. Well, that, thank you. That's very nice. So well, I want to give you plenty of room to move around. Oh, <laughs> just it's, a, it's a thick t-shirt. <laughs> no, no. We're most supposed to wear protective vests. You know, you, you remember that week that they said there was some detention or something? <laughs> Wait till this week. <laughs> All right. I'm swear. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm going to go out. I'm going to be like... I'm going to outdo Bear Gorillas. I can see it now. It looks good. Well, I mean, Bear Gorillas does have some things on you, like a private aisle and a lighthouse, world record for highest open-air dining party. Well, except those, and climbing Mount Everest. And eating yak ass. Okay, I'm camping in the woods beside my house. <laughs> but I won't be coming back for several days, or at least the weekend. Mm. And I'll be spending my nights in luxurious hotels. Ah. Speaking of spending nights in luxurious hotels. Or camping in the woods. Either right. one of those yeah. I would take at this point. Mm -hmm. She has a house. Yep. And yet, I can still hear Barry Manilow playing all the way upstairs in that crappy pork she makes. Almost every other night. She's not moving. You tell me she has a house. You tell me all her stuff's there. She's got electricity. She's got water. What else she need? Nothing. She has all the basic necessities. What is the Food, word after water, swift and kick in the... Gluteus Maximus? <laughs> I, don't. I don't think she's moving either, honestly. I mean, she, everything's at her house. I don't understand. She never gets it. I know, I'm I upset mean, too. I mean, she never gets... It's always one more thing that she needs and needs to practice this, needs that. She's got to fix this. It's going to be that. Can't get the cable guy. I mean, it's always something. You don't need cable to move into your house. Who needs cable to move in? I don't know. I, I don't know either. All right, let's just go on. If that were the case. Yeah. I'm living in the street. All right. I guess that does. I don't really want to move on. Why? Because I like Let's this. Let's move on. Here is your next blade. All right. Oh, I forgot about the And your what? sheath. Oh, I'll move on. That's fine. And your cleaning Okay, cloth. so our, our next knife on the table this week. And your sticker. Your pan you're handing me the wrong knife. The next knife on this table for this week, the only folder this oh, time. I'm sorry. I was going in order. I know. My fault. Whoever set these up, big mistake. They're fired. Huge. <laughs> okay. Only folder this time. The Shielden Buscoena Frame Lock. Say it loud. Say it proud. The Shielden Buscoena Frame Lock. It's a Barrascuta. Something like that. Available in two different styles. Gray and black. This is the black version. It's 8.5 inch overall with a 3.75 inch black titanium coated D2 tool steel blade. Which can be deployed with the flimper stud or the slim thumb slot. Thank you for that. The handle is light gray stainless with black carbon fiber inlay. Ooh. It also features a place for a lanyard, a black jimp backspacer, and shows off the very skinny black tip up pocket clip. And you can have your own Shielden Barrascuta for 8328. There it is. From Atlanticknife.com. Atlanticknife.com. All right. So, what do you think? I like it. I mean, the lockup is good. Frame lock works well. I'm a fan of carbon fiber, so it's always nice when it rears its head. I really don't have any complaints about this one. It even comes with a hook and loop, not Velcro, because that's trademarked, hook and loop pouch. So you don't have to use the clip if you don't want to. Fits on the belt, and I'll just stick it in there. And it has this little snap thing, which I just discovered very recently. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. You don't even have to like, unhook your belt and put it on there. You can just pop it on there. I like it. So, yeah. what about you? Well, my immediate thought was it's a little too expensive. But then I thought to myself, oh. what if this had the Civivi logo on it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much would it be? 
about that price. That's what I was thinking. That's Seventy-nine, crazy. eighty-three, mm -hmm. one of those. Eighty-five. So, with that being said, but let's be honest. What? Sometimes people buy for the brand, like Coach purses. Oh, I, I agree. They that's, buy because it's got Coach Vivi on it. Has has weed their way. Uh huh. Has a weed. To to that value price. Uh huh. Even though they're supposed to be budget. But I mean, you know, you get a nice uh, belt sheath with it. I know. That's you can get nice. that with a, That's a baby. good carrying case. I mean, if you want to pouch, put but... it in your fanny pack. Or you want fanny pack? Yeah. Really? Well, where else you go put the it? The rock in his fanny pack. Uh huh. That's with the rock's fanny pack. <laughs> so you know, I other than that, good. I like it. It's a good style. Sure, it works well. Yep. All right. So All right. our last knife. Our last knife. It is. The limited edition Riet Knives Tibia. Mm-hmm. We'll get the price tag right out of the way. It's two ninety five dollars Langknife.com. Yeah. Bam. And All with right. Riet, let's be honest, that's a steal. It certainly is. Uh-huh. All right. So this is Riet's first fixed blade, at least to my mm -hmm. knowledge. And I'm going to be right up front. I'm not really disappointed about it. No, I mean, Riet makes knives for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. So most but people would know that. do they help with Lion Steel, I think? Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know all the brands that they make. A lot of okay. times, these brands don't say... They don't say that they help them. ...who's make making their knives. The exactly. Hush, um, hush. So, I've always liked Riet knives. I think the price is a little high for this size. Ah, limited edition at 200 True, and they always use, like, the best high-end materials. And this is the limited run, like you said. Like, only 200 were made. And you won't find anything on it wrong. Not exactly. a scratch. I mean, it's, it's a nice blade. It is. I mean... Look at that grind. I mean, look at that I, grind. There's another T-shirt <laughs> slogan. <laughs> one day. Yeah. All right. One day. So I'm in for this one, but this is a collector. So go ahead. So on to the background and specs. So this blade does come in two different colors. Uh, though this is the only one in stock right now. The other one is the type of blackout version, designed by Jim Skellington. This fixed carry is 7.25 inches overall with a four. 0.125 inch bowler m390 steel reverse tanto blade which is 0 0.16 inches thick and 1.5 inches wide lots of jimping right there people satin finish there's a plain edge flat grind and my favorite the blade accents like the cutouts and the faux blood groove or fuller this handle is black carbon fiber mm -hmm. with a lanyard hole and lastly this right hand or left hand carry, since it is fixed blade, mm -hmm. comes with a black, genuine leather belt sheath. That is really nice. I'm going to put mm -hmm. it in this time because I don't fit. No, I just leave it out. But there's the sheath and it's got the loop. So I like this. Though I've never been a huge fan of Riet simply because they're like Medford in prices. I did like the Riet Jack 2.0 with the comb, not mm -hmm. going to lie. But I do like the look of this one. For the price, I'd probably just co collect it. It is limited edition. It does cut well because I use it carefully behind backstage. Oh, it's sharp. Yeah, it, it, it'll cut a fool. But, <laughs> but I probably wouldn't use it to go out and like stuff like for the primal cleaver. I'd use that. Mm. And this one, I, I don't think I would use this one. I'd just like, you know, display it. Well, I think my biggest complaint with React is mm -hmm. it's hard to reorder. It they is. just don't have enough. I mean, it's always, you know, that's it, it's gone. They're kind of limited run stuff yep, all the time. And, I mean, you buy it and you sell six or seven in a couple of months and then they're gone. I think it's kind of mini cleaver-esque though, if you look at it. Yes, it is. Okay, what about what about you? You just like the Oh, like I like it. I mean, I would actually, I mean, $300, I, I probably wouldn't use it, but I mean, it's sharp. <laughs> you don't have any problem. Uh, like just looking at it, draw blood. Oh, it, he's got that uh, proponent-looking blade, oh my except gosh, not as bulky in the back. Oh yeah. All right. I so I guess we'll go it. ahead and move on. That was our last blade, wasn't it? Cleaning cloth. Wow, it's already over. And patch. So sad. How did you get that to stick? So AKers, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, along with answering the AK trivia question on LandKnife.com's blog. Links are below. You heard the ding. I heard it. That way you can help us help you. We'll show you the Quan, mm -hmm. or at least the free knives. Oh, that's right. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, and Instagram. Then they add about parlor on there. You know what? 
Tyler's dead. Oh my, yeah. Dun, I haven't been dun, able to post dun, deal. Dun, I might dun, give him dun, one dun, more dun, week, dun. try to post something, and that's just, you know. But we're always posting, so don't hesitate to check us out on there. It's any not really of those. Fault, by the way. Anytime, any day. I know. If they don't like you, they don't like you. With that, they hate you because they ain't you. I'm seeing this is. I'm not a player, but I crush a lot. <laughs> wow. Yay, yay. And we are signing off. Did you just flash gang signs? Wow.